Officials in Hawaii warn it will take years for Maui to fully recover from the deadly wildfires that have destroyed parts of the island. It's being described today as the worst natural disaster Hawaii has seen in more than 60 years. For more, let's bring in Lauren Whittle Henry. Lauren is a communications consultant for Maui Rescue Mission. She's working both individually and with organizations on the ground to help those displaced by the fires. Let's just begin by saying how sorry we are for everything that has happened there and the pictures that we're seeing and what you're having to work through in extraordinary circumstances. What's really jumping out to you at this hour as emergent? Yeah, thank you. Um, and I just wanna take a moment and pause here. Um, I work with Maui Rescue Mission. We are a mobile outreach to the homeless and we are a faith-based organization. Um, we're followers of Jesus and that's why we do what we do. Um, and we, in collaboration with the churches here, are calling for a national time of fasting and prayer. Um, we're still in the middle of this crisis. It's hard to know uh, where we go from here. The fires are not 100% contained. Yeah. This is day four. And um, we are grieving. The community in Lahaina that was hit the hardest is the most local and generational community here on Maui. And so um, we are seeing the community mobilize. Um, the, the nonprofits, the businesses, the churches are all collaborating together and um, doing what we can to um, to serve those in need. Sure. Um, so we rescue mission specifically, we have a mobile trailer that operates a shower and laundry services That's and so our, our outreach is to the homeless. Um, and, um, and so we just about an hour and a half ago, were able to access West Lahaina, uh, West Maui in Lahaina. And, um, I'm, I'm in South Maui now, but the rest of the team is serving with the trailer, offering first aid and hygiene kits um, in, in Lahaina right sure. now. Let me just uh, jump in here. Um, I think everyone who is watching these pictures wants to try and help in, in some way, but we're operating at a distance. So what would you suggest? What can people do to help these residents get what they need right now? Absolutely. Um, so in addition to prayer, um, we're seeing just tremendous outpouring of support, which is just incredible and frankly overwhelming, as I'm sure you know. Um, right now, the, the focus would be to support local 501c3 nonprofits that have been here on Maui before this disaster and that will continue to be here after the disaster is um, declared over. Um, this is going to take years. Sure. And so um, if you're able to give, uh, find a 501c3 that is local, like Maui Rescue Mission or a local church here, okay. and give generously. I mean, just to ask sort of a mechanics question, if you're going to go on the internet, how would you suggest people search for that? Because unfortunately, what you see in a lot of these disasters that you have people come in who try and sort of hijack people's goodwill to take advantage of that. So how do you know what's you know real and local and, and what's not? Yeah, do your research. Um, there are ways to, to search um, 501c3s, um, what organizations are approved by different um, different sort of organizations like GuideStar, things like that. Um, but again, uh, this is this is a time for um, just an outpouring of support. So um, if you're able to give, connect with a local church or a local nonprofit, um, and and just and and give generously. Lauren Whittle, thanks for making the point that this is going to go on long after um, the news crews are there. I get that. Thank you for your help that you're offering to so many people. Thank you so much for the time.